All right, everyone, in today's video, we finally have our first real official cold frame. This is as legit as it's gonna get for me, at least. Um, I wanna share with you guys how this all got assembled, um, how I put this together. Uh, it would've been nice to have shown you the process, but it took me forever. I mean, I'm just not good at this. Um, building things is not my, my forte, guys. I'm sure you're not coming to me for building instructions. At least you shouldn't be. However, I do wanna show you guys how this all got put together and how it can be kinda of simple if you have some extra wood lying around. And I also wanna show you and talk about the um, kind of the big deal that this is for me. Uh, Cause it is, right now it's early February and it's still pretty cold outside. In about a month, we talked about in our seed starting videos and our garden plan videos, we're gonna transplant a lot of crops into this bed. Because even right now, it's actually doing quite well, although it's been kind of mild here. Um, these arugula plants and these bok choy plants have been growing all winter, mostly with protection from this plastic, but not to the extent that it is right now. Um, as I said, my design, or I should say that my design in the fall when we had constructed this cold frame was really not good. And that's why I never really showed you this thing. At least I didn't go into great detail about this cold frame because I wanted to see how the thing performed in the winter and how all the results were and what was happening. Um, the plastic ended up coming off of the frame as we have, the th have it pretty much stapled on here with a heavy duty staple gun. And I can go around here and probably do more, which maybe I should. But the point is, is that um, we had this attached to the outside, this plastic, and then I learned my lesson. And instead, now I have it attached. If I look, you, show you guys the inside, you can see the plastic comes out the, from the outside to the in, and then I stapled it to the interior. And I did that all the way around the frame. And that is a huge benefit um, for this thing not blowing off because you kind of can get an idea by looking at this little section here is that the wind can kind of get in here and keep blowing this. Eventually it breaks through that plastic. The staple stays, but the plastic rips through that, uh, that staple and then it ends up coming loose and now you just have an issue. So it's not ideal to be doing it like that and it wasn't ideal in the fall, but we learned some lessons and that's really all that matters to me. Um, even though we weren't able to grow much food in the wintertime, we do actually have something to show for it, which is kind of crazy. Um, although this is a weird year and has been so mild, but a look at these arugula plants and look at these bok choy plants. I mean, I didn't think bok choy could grow at this cold of temperatures. I thought it would bolt. Um, in fact, this arugula is still growing. It's still putting out some very tender leaves. And if I taste this, I'm telling you, this is so, so good. This is why we're gonna be growing arugula in crazy numbers, actually, in that bed uh, behind you guys. It's not a cold frame. We're gonna put some mesh over it, but it's such an incredible salad green that I just don't, I can't justify growing any other lettuce crop. The kale and the Swiss chard, you can pretty much put them anywhere throughout the yard. They're gonna grow, they're gonna do well. You can, you know, obviously cook the chard, cook the kale, do smoothies and things like that. But for salads, I don't really think there's anything better than arugula. I'm just sorry. And I can put them on burgers, do all kinds of things with it. On sandwiches. I mean, they're so, so good. Um, it's really a tasty thing. If you haven't grown arugula yourself, I would suggest you do it. Um, it is quite different than what you can get at the grocery store. So I'm, I am surprised that this stuff's doing so well, although it has been mild. But it just goes to show what effect that this cold frame is going to have on my ability to grow vegetables. And as I said, we're gonna put a lot of crops in here on March 1st, but the real benefit is not just that I can get them in here by March 1st, but I'm really warming up the soil it's not necessarily this plastic is really protecting them. And you may think, oh, this plastic is gonna create a greenhouse and it's gonna be super, super warm in here all the time. It's just not the case. We're gonna have pretty much at nighttime, these temperatures are gonna plummet. We're gonna have some nice daytime temperatures, but 
The real winner here, the money maker, is in the soil. We're heating up the soil during the day and the soil temperature is staying quite warm. So if we can do that, um, all those little temperatures go such a long, long way, guys. And we're able to grow all these cool living crops to a crazy extent. Now you'll see behind me, the sun's kind of setting. But that's sort of the angle of the sun this time of the year is that it, it usually is over these trees most of the day and goes up like this. And this is sort of midday in here. So essentially we've got no leaves on the trees, comes in right into where we're standing, into this bed and warms this thing up naturally, even without this plastic, pretty darn well. And I've got the, the angle right here in a way, maybe I could have tilted it a little bit like this way instead of straight like this, we could have tilted it on this angle. But for the most part, this is a, a superstar little project here that anybody can do. You know, just get your guys self some wood. I had a lot of wood left over from raised beds. This plastic really doesn't cost all that much. We've got ourselves a piece of wood to hold the thing up. Um, and then you gotta get yourself some deck screws, right? And then the last piece of this is that the whole thing is on a hinge on the back side, and that allows me to lift it up and down without it coming apart. So, um, yeah, I think it's a, a really awesome way of extending your season, guys. Totally recommend it. I'm glad I was able to do this video for you guys and show you guys this particular thing. So, if you enjoyed this one, um, let me know down in the comments and subscribe, and check us out on Fig Boss Facebook and Instagram. We'll see everybody soon, all right? Take care. We'll see you for tomorrow's video.